loving you isn't the right thing to do. How can I ever change things that I feel? At the time that, that we were doing Rumors, there was this rather unusual situation within the workings of the band where you had two couples that were in the process of breaking up during the making of the album. So you had all this cross dialogue going on. You can go your own way. Go your own way. You had John McVie and Christine McVie breaking up. You had Stevie and myself breaking up. Go Your Own Way it was a song basically uh, directed at Stevie. Go Your Own Way was Lindsay talking to Stevie or not talking to Stevie. It was basically on your bike, girl. Right. Whenever that song was at its peak, that was Stevie and Lindsay playing out whatever roles they were playing out. I mean, some heavy stuff <laughs> went on with, with that song. The Rumors album went way through the ceiling, you know, and at some point became a phenomenon in which the sales and the, the success of it really became disproportionate to what the music itself was. I always perceived it as, as having something to do with the fact that it was kind of a musical soap opera, and I think all of that came through. I think the emotion of that, the truthfulness of that came through on the grooves. The Rumors album turned into a freak, really. We weren't going to complain about it because we really all the interviews would go like, well, how much money you made? Blah, 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 blah. That's what, 15 million albums now. But we got through it. And then we went into a situation where uh, the likes of Peter Frampton, uh, the Bee Gees, a lot of these bands were selling a lot of albums, big numbers that hadn't been done before. There were quite a few boom years there. Uh, there were uh, a lot of people who were realizing that you could make a ton of money off of uh, concerts on a large scale. We were certainly in the middle of that until the bottom dropped out of that, uh, which was not a bad thing. 